Is today we are going to create secondary colors by using primary colors. So first, we need to make a little ball of red. Red is one of the primary colors. Then we need to take a ball of yellow. That is a primary color. Pinch off some of it. And you're going to place it with a little bit of red on your plate. Next, roll the bigger ball of yellow Play-Doh in your hand then set it down on your plate. Now we're going to mix red and yellow to create a secondary color. So mash the Play-Doh in your hands and let's see what we create. Oh my goodness, we have created orange. Orange is a secondary color. If your orange looks a little too red, then you might need some more yellow. So you can pinch off some yellow and then add it to your orange. Mash them together and kind of roll it around in your hands. You can use the color wheel to help you compare your color to what is on the color wheel. I think this is a fantastic orange, so I'm going to roll it, then place it down on my plate. Next, let's combine yellow and blue and see what secondary color we create. So pinch off a little bit of the blue Roll that and then set the bigger blue ball down on your plate. And then we need to pinch off a little yellow. And then we're going to combine these two. Blue and yellow are primary colors. And when we mix two primary colors together, we create a secondary color. So let's pinch and roll the yellow and blue Play-Doh in our fingers and see what we create. As you are mixing, you can look at your color wheel and compare what your My mixture is a little too looks blue like compared to so the colors on the wheel. So that means I need to add more yellow. So I'm going to pinch off a little bit of yellow and then pinch that into my mixture and see if it becomes a more of a green color. My mixture is still looking a little too close to blue on the color wheel. So I'm going to add some yellow to try to move the, mix the mixture closer to a green combination. Once your mixture matches with the green on the color wheel, you know that you have done this correctly. So I'm gonna roll it and then place it down on my plate. And now that I'm done using yellow, I'm just going to roll that little bit and place that down onto my plate. Now let's combine red and blue. Red and blue are primary colors. And like we've learned, when we mix two primary colors together, they're going to create a secondary color. So let's mix and see what happens when we combine red and blue. As you're mixing, you can compare it to the colors on the color wheel. Mine looks a little too close to the red, so I need to add some more blue. And if your mixture looks too blue, do the opposite, add more red. As 
you are mixing, keep looking at the color wheel to compare your mixture to the colors you see on the color wheel. When you find the correct combination, you can roll it and then place it down on your plate. And there you go, artist. You have created your very own color wheel. We've combined two primary colors to create our secondary colors. Now, after you have finished creating your color wheel with your Play-Doh, something you might wanna do is we could practice creating what's called coils. We make a coil, we rub it, and we roll this Play-Doh in our hands, and then it's going to make what looks kind of like a tube or a cylinder. You could also roll this on your plate, but I like doing it in my hands like this. This is great for our finger muscles and our fine motor movements. So when we roll like this, we're building up those muscles in our hands that will help us become even better artists than we are. Okay, after making the coils, you can flatten them down like I am doing. I'm just using my fingers and I'm kind of massaging the Play-Doh so that they are flat on my plate. After flattening the coils, let's stack a few of them on top of one another. Maybe you want to stack two or three or four on top of each other. Then once they are stacked, you can twist them like I am doing and the colors are gonna make this really cool little mixture. So watch, I twist like this. And then once they've twisted a little bit, you can roll them on your plate and you'll see how these colors start to kind of mix and swirl together. You could also roll the Play-Doh in your hand like that or on your plate, whatever is working better. That is up to you as the artist to decide. And then as you can see, it creates this really beautiful swirly little combination. <laughs>